Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be showing you my sheet mask that I used up for the month of January. So let's go ahead and just roll right into it. So the first one I have is from a new, and this is an Avon brand of sheet mask. And this is the brightening sheet mask with white pearl essence. And it says it has immediate results. And I really did like this one. It was a really um, nice and um, thick sheet itself, but it had a lot of essence in it. So there was enough essence in here um, that I was able to wear the mask itself for a good 20 to 30 minutes without, didn't have any issues with it starting to dry out. And then um, there was enough essence in the packet then that I was able to use it the following morning as my um, essence step. So I really did enjoy this and you can get these at Avon. Um, so you can go on to the Avon website and I'll put um, Annie and I'll put her information in the description box. So if you don't have an Avon lady, then um, that information will be in the description box where she'll be able to hook you up. And I, if I understand correctly, there's going to be some new sheet masks coming out that Avon's coming out with. So she'll be able to hook us up with those. And then I had several of this one brand and it's the Jeju Natural and I used up the green tea mask and the canola honey mask and it looks like I used up two of the green tea and a aloe and two of the canola honey and the canola honey was actually my favorite one and I'm going to kind of cut um, cut away to a clip that I filmed talking about the fit of these and a little bit about them. So um, we'll cut away to that and then I'll be back. Good morning. Well, this is new, isn't it? Anyway, um, I wanted to talk about this sheet mask. And let me show you what I'm talking about. Here it is. It's this brand right here. And you're going to be seeing this um, in my empties of sheet mask. I'm going to be talking about this. I'm going to be showing you this in my sheet mask empties for the month. Anyway, I thought I would just do a little cutaway and talk about this brand because I'm going to be showing this brand a lot because I had went a little hog wild a while back and bought a whole bunch of these at TJ Maxx. I said it right, TJ Maxx. Anyway, I don't like this brand and I wanted to show you Instead of trying to explain it with my hands, <laughs> I wanted to show you in person what I'm talking about. And I have underneath here, I have, um, let me find a little pack. I have some little eye, I already stuck it in my, my basket anyway. Anyway, I have some eye patch, eye mask, a separate one underneath my eyes. Anyway, see the mouth piece, the mouth hole is like huge and so are the eyes. The eye ones are like huge. Do you see that? And so it doesn't leave a lot of space for the, the face and so then the face is like way up here in my hairline. I don't need my mask up here in my hairline. I'm not trying to, to mask my hair and my ears and hardly any down here on my neck or down here into yeah I like to have some down here on my neck I need some help with my little chubby chin and neck so you see what I'm talking about it's just not it goes way over here see I like my flamingo isn't that cute I might as well show you hey while I'm in here well no I can't I'm on me geez I start saying I should I might as well show you my skincare fridge Anyway, so you can see what I'm talking about. This I don't like this brand, but I am bound to determine to use them because um, I have them and my goal is to use up my stash sheet mask. And it takes forever to get these peeled out and opened and get them smoothed out onto your face. I, d I don't like that. I don't like that at all. So I don't recommend this brand, but I wanted to show you why I don't like them and this is why the essence is good I mean the formulation on them is good I like that part of it it's just the the 
she itself is bad. I don't like that. So I hate to say this, but if you see these at Marshalls or TJ Maxx, <laughs> Max, this brand right here, I would pass. Just my my thoughts, unless you have a bigger face. Maybe these are made for a guy. Maybe they're made for this type of guy right here. See that guy right there? They fit perfectly on his face. <laughs> Maybe they're made for him. That type, that type of guy. But um, for us ladies, mm, not so much. So anyway, that's my take on them. We'll get back to the rest of the video. Did you see when I was talking in the clip, I liked the essence of these. I just don't like the fit. The fit was just way off on these. So I won't repurchase these. I still have quite a few of these to go because I have found them at TJ Maxx and I just bought several boxes of them. So I still have quite a few. So you'll see these. You won't see them probably in February's empties because I've already pulled what I'm going to use for February and I think I only pulled one of these to use because I didn't want to be repetitive. So but anyway, the essence was good. It's just the fit wasn't good at all. So Anyway, then um, from Wish Trend, this is the Panda Eye Essence Mask. I used up one of these. I don't really care for these. I had purchased a whole bunch of these at one time without trying them first. And then when I got them, I don't, I don't like them at all. So I won't repurchase those, but I am bound to determine to use those up. And then from Shiseido, um, this is the, Benef the Benefiance. Benefiance um, Pure Retinol Express Smoothing Eye Mask and this is a very expensive <laughs> eye mask. Um, I think it comes in a pack of three for like $18. Um, definitely one of those type of sheet masks that you would have to use over a course of time to really see some results. And I have several in my collection, so I want to use the, these. And so I'm trying to do, only use one for the month of January, but going into February, I want to use up what I have. I think I only have like maybe three more. So, but anyway, they're good. Um, I just, um, I don't see me repurchasing them just because of the price point. Then I had another one of those little panda eye masks. Then this one here is from Origins. It's the Flower Fusion, and this one was in Raspberry. I don't really care for these. I was at Nordstrom Rack, and I seen them, and I bought a whole, per a whole bunch of these. Again, not trying them, just seen them, and thought, oh, they're from Origins, so they're going to be good, but I don't like them. And I have several of, I have Raspberry, and I think I have Rose, and... I wouldn't repurchase those, but anyway, I did use that. Now this one I do like, and this is from um, a Pew, and it's the milk one pack, and this was the coffee milk. And of course, we know anything that has um, milk in it is definitely for exfoliating you with that lactic acid in it. So definitely really good. And of course, it smelled like coffee, and it just smelled good. Mm, yes, so I do recommend those. Those were good. And then this one was a good one. It's the um, Mediheal Bird's Nest Proteiny Mask. So this is good. I like the Mediheal brand in general. So any of them that I've tried from the Mediheal um, line have all been good. So I wish I had some more of these, but I don't. And I can't repurchase any until I get through all of my sheet masks. But once I do, I'm definitely going to get some more of those. I did enjoy that. And then this one, this one was definitely a good one, this, especially for this time of year if you have dry skin. But oh my goodness, are the ex these expensive. This is the Shiseido um, Benefique Advanced Mask. This is so hydrating, so hydrating. And um, I kept a little mask in here, but, and there is so much of this creamy essence in here. It's almost like an oil essence. That's why I'm saying if you are oily or combo skin, you probably won't like this, but if you're dry, you will definitely like this, but just be prepared if 
to pay the price on this because it is definitely spendy but once I used this then I was able to use the essence in here two nights after I use this as just a, a nighttime moisturizer is how I used it and very very hydrating super hydrating so <laughs> I really do enjoy that and then here's another one that's one of my favorite um, sheet mask and this is from too cool from school It's the egg cream mask very hydrating again um, will keep you hydrated for several days after you use it and you can get these at um, Sephora but every once in a while I will come across them at um, TJ Maxx or at Marshalls so I do like those and then I have a couple of these from Tony Moly these were at Ulta last Christmas and I got them at the end of the Christmas season um, on clearance and I bought a whole bunch of them again without trying them and I don't really they're okay but they're just um, a, a shea butter type hydrating mask they're both the same even though they've, they're two different um, designs on the packages they're the, they're the same but um, they're okay they had them again this year and I I didn't buy any of them because I was like well I have a whole bunch from when I bought them the year before and they're okay so I don't need to repurchase anymore so anyway that was it for my sheet mask for the month of January so I hope that you enjoyed and I will talk to you soon